Please stand and let us pray together the transition prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us together and calling us to serve you as your disciples. You have charged us through your Son, Jesus, and his shepherds with a great mission of evangelizing and witnessing your love to the world. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us as we discern your will for the spiritual renewal of our parish communities. Give us strength, courage, and clear vision as we use our gifts to serve you. We entrust our parish families to care of Mary, our mother, and ask for her intercession and guidance as we strive to bear witness to the gospel, celebrating the qualities of each faith-filled community, and together building an engaging parish. Amen. The Lord is my light, my help, my salvation. Why should I fear? With God I have no one. God protects me all my life with the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, um, the peace of our Lord be with you. Um, and with your spirit. Trust in God's mercy, as we say. Um, Lord Jesus, you will send to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are sitting at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour into our hearts, O Lord, we pray the Holy Spirit at whom prompting the deacon St. Ephraim, exhorted in singing of your mysteries, and from whom he received the strength to serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, such confidence we have through Christ through God, toward God. Not that of ourselves we are qualified to take credit for anything as coming from us. Rather, our qualification comes from God, who has indeed qualified us as ministers of a new covenant, not of letter, but of spirit. For the letter brings death, but the spirit gives life. Now if the ministry of death carved in letters on stone was so glorious that the children of Israel could not look intently at the face of Moses because of its glory that was going to fade, how much more will the ministry of the spirit be glorious? For if the ministry of condemnation was glorious, the ministry of righteousness will abound much more in glory. Indeed, what was endowed in, with glory, 
has come to have no glory in this respect because of the glory that surpasses it. For if what was going to fade was glorious, how much more will what endures be glorious? The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. O Lord our God, you answered them. A forgiving God you were to them, though requiting their misdeeds. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God, and guide me in your truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen. I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you here to celebrate with the Universal Church and especially here at St. Anne on the 10th Ordinary Armor. And yet, today we also join with the Universal Church in celebrate the saints that who help us. Many of those who not love and like to sing and want to go to math and read and all like that. And you have some problem with singing. You have to pray through the intercession of St. Ephraim. And yes, he will help you. Some way that he's very powerful, just briefly talk about you, that for him, that the, the, he have the title, the pianist, to play for the angel singing why they do that and why they say that about him today. Because that he's a poet, has the philosophy, and he's an educator, he's so much gifted. And he only wants to be ordained to be a deacon. He doesn't like to be a priest. So he have all the time that he composed. You see the psalm and all the things that, and then implement in the council, the nice council. And that you see the liturgical with all the things, the psalm and singing and all the things, he have the big implement. 
he have the skill that compose the music just like that, you know. And so that where the saint we celebrate today. So for those who the lecture, who the singer and all like that, St. Cecilia is one of the patron for the music, but Ephraim is the composer. He's a wonderful saint. He's the early part of church teaching. Today we also hear the first reading that everything as we know, it come from God. The spirit and the letter, and the spirit gave life. The letter gave us some direction and all the things. And yet, don't be so proud that you say you know everything. No, everything come from God. God gave us so many different gifts, talent, for to serve, and then proclaim and then bring people and evangelize all the things you hear in the first reading so powerfully. And yet, may we pray, we open ourselves, and so we able to be God's instrument and allow God using us that to be his disciple and help the people. And yet, Jesus in the gospel today, Many people say that, oh, Jesus will come <coughs> and that he abolished or destroyed all the lawn that gave us the new lawn, this and that. Of course, he gave us the commandment of love, but he came to fulfill the law, the commandment. So the gospel today, we read, and for those who have some difficult time to meditate upon it, so you have those points to pray over it. So it's all of these things that the wisdom, the word of God speaks to us, and at this mass, the liturgy, we can reflect upon that may God continue to help us. I love this story, or we want to share this story, and so help me to have my life easy and have peace. The story is one of the holy man. The holy man, like a monk, and he wants to live like in the cave and then going to the desert and then want to be holy. So he want to find the environment or choose the community or convent or the monastery so he can stay and be holy. And so that he feel comfortable, the Jones with that. So he decided that he went to the desert so he can live there and then he proved himself so he can, you know, survive and be holy. So he went to the desert for many years, about 20 years, and then he lived there, and then he kind of, you know, difficult in the desert, not like in the city, and he survived. But yet he decided that, oh, it get boring. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go to the city. And so, so I can do all this up there. They have everything and much more comfortable and so at that night, that the angel and God know all, he did not know that, that God know everything about him. And then what he thought, what he think, and so God sent the angel to him for the night, and then telling him that, what is your plan? What are you going to do? And then the guy say, you know, holy monk, just say, I live here in the danger, I survive, I do everything, and so I just want to go to the city, and then they have more stuff, and then so I can be more holy over there. And so the angels say that, do you anything else that you think that God can help you, and then you appreciate about this place? Do you believe in the miracle? <laughs> and this holy man say, what kind of miracle, you know? And then the angels say that, do you know that you live in this desert? All the vegetables you eat, the grass and the food, and you eat and you survive for these many years. Where does that come from? Is that come from God? Is that God gave to you? Is that God wants you? Is that God take care of you every of that minute? And then you're still alive right now? Amen. Oh, wow, yes, it's miracle. Because if God is not there, 
take care of you and feed you and this and that, you're not surviving in that place. And you think that you go to the city and then another place more comfortable if God is not there, you die there. So the guy, holy man, said, oh, wow. So I stay here to be holy, to be closer to God. And miracles happen every minute, every day. For many of us too, we're practicing about our faith. It's not about the ego. I know and I have everything. It's God the one who watching us, taking care of us every day, every minute. Do we open up to allow God's blessing and appreciate what God giving to us? Please stand up. Together we offer to our Lord our prayer as we say. that the church, the sacrament of unity, will draw all believers to know the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that leaders of our country and states strive to respect the charitable works of the church. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that those with doubts and whose faith has waved be strengthened and lifted by this sacred mystery. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that all who share the Eucharist with the elderly and the homebound be blessed with patient, loving hearts and an appreciation of life. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, that we may show love for one another in our support of the ministry and services funded by the annual Catholic Appeal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful of our community grow in appreciation of and of and participation in adoration and Eucharistic devotions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially at class, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the intention of St. Joseph Church parishioners and for the response of the souls of Olana Godute and Luna Nafahu, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For these and all the prayers enter in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We ask you to bless upon the prayer we present to you, bless upon the dinner meeting for all the priests gathering for the first time for many months and years at the St. Andrew in summer today. Bless upon the meeting upon all the leadership from Holy Rosary today and plus upon all that people who ask for intention for Dominic, for Dominic and all that family who ask us to pray for him in his anniversary of death, and for the prayer that for John Spiritual who passed away a few days next, next Wednesday for the funeral of St. John of the Wood, and all those 
who bring their intention, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the breast we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, receive my sacrifice and heal my heart. Lord, wash away my nicotine and clean me from my sins. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Them. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to rule in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you make all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim, um, holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the plus of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the breast of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's what the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you for the age, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who are in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our world day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter the marrow, but I will say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
please kneel and prepare ourselves in silent prayer meditation. May this sacrament of new life warm our hearts with your love and make us eager for the eternal joy of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand and listen to the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called great greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the reflection of the Gospel today. Jesus said to his disciples and all of us that do not think that he have come to abolish the law or the prophets. 
he has he have, has come to not to abolish but to fulfill so what is mean by fulfill she should come to fulfill the laws making them more perfect and better at the same time she just set a new higher standard of holiness Christians are no longer bound by the specific direction on our daily living or worshiping as in the Old Testament. Such laws include instruction of purification of utensils or not to eat certain kind of food or tidings. Also, there was the holocaust of the animals for the liturgical offerings and spray their blood on the altar and a lot more. These laws are absolute. Thanks to Jesus, who are now called to much higher and new way of celebration. We are celebrate the seven sacraments established by Jesus, which are now given through his church. Those who lived before the time of Christ was not held at the same standard as we are today, because they did not enjoy the gift of grace that Jesus won on the cross for us. For that reason, today we are called to a much greater life of holiness. For example, we no longer celebrate Passover as a mere remembrance of what God did to the Israelites from delivering them from slavery to Egyptians. Today we celebrate the new Passover of Jesus Christ our celebration goes beyond the symbol of recalling memory of the past. But our celebration now enables us to participate fully in the saving sacrifice of Christ through the Eucharist. We share in actual and live events and are partakers of the grace won on the cross by Christ each time we celebrate the Mass. Jesus came to perfect the law and set a higher standard of holiness. We are now called to love not just the one we want to love, but also our enemies and those who persecuted us. We are called to take up our cross daily to follow him and lay down our life for others. We are called to love others as Jesus loved them. We can do all these things only by our actively sharing in the very life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord. So let us reflect upon our higher calling to holiness from today's gospel. God calls you and me to share in his greatness. He calls us to be among the greatest in the kingdom of God. Therefore, let us commit ourselves to a higher standard of holiness by following his new commandment of love. Now, let us pray. Our most gracious Lord, you came to fulfill the law and bring our lives to the fullness of holiness. Please help us to understand our higher calling and keep your laws which you have perfected. Amen.
I now invite everyone together to, put, to read slowly the Psalm 86. Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and oppressed. Reserve my life, for I am devoted. Save, Save your servant, servant who trusts trust in, in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, Lord. To you I call all the day. Glad in the soul of your servant to you, Lord. To you, I lift up my soul. my soul. Lord, you are good and forgiving, most merciful to all who call on you. Lord, Lord hear, hear my, my prayer. prayer. Listen, Listen to my cry for help. help. On the day of my distress, I call to you, for you will answer me. None among the gods can equal you, O Lord, nor can, can, be, can their deeds compare to yours. All the nations you have made shall come to bow before you, Lord, and give honor to your name. For you are great and do wondrous deeds, and, and you alone are God. Teach me, Lord, your way that I may walk in your truth, single-hearted, and revering your name. I will, I will praise you with all, all my heart. Glorify, Glorify your, name your name forever, Lord, Lord, Lord my God. Your mercy to me is great. You have rescued me from the death of Sheol. O oh God, oh God, the, the arrogant, arrogant have risen against, against me. The ruthless man has sought my life. To, to you, you they pay me. no heed. But you, Lord, are compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in mercy and truth. Turn to, Turn me, to me, be gracious, be gracious to, me. to me. Give, Give your, your strength, strength to your servant. servant. Save the son of, of your handmaid. Give me a sign of your favor. Make my enemies see to their confusion that you, Lord, Help and comfort me. Please kneel. Let us pray. O oh God, you gave us this wonderful sacrament at the memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to reveal the sacred mystery of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. Who live and reign with God, the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
Let us pray the divine praise. Please repeat after me. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Please re read the invocation to Saint Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Son of God, and our to St. Joseph, patron of the church, to
Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.